Former Vice President Joe Biden won the South Carolina primary yesterday. Biden won 48% of the vote. Bernie Sanders came in second with 11%, Tom Steyer third, followed by Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, and Amy Klobuchar. As Michael George tells us, Joe Biden hopes he's now got the momentum for Super Tuesday. Thank you, thank you, thank you, South Carolina! Former Vice President Joe Biden celebrated his much-needed win in South Carolina. It's his first victory of the primary season. Just days ago, the press and the pundits had declared this candidacy dead. Now, thanks to all of you, the heart of the Democratic Party, we just won and we've won big because of you. African Americans helped lift Biden to victory. A CBS News exit poll showed 60% of black voters supported Biden. I voted for uh, Joe Biden. Um, I feel he was the perfect choice. Senator Bernie Sanders once predicted victory in South Carolina, but he steered clear of the Palmetto State on Saturday. This rally was in Virginia, where voters will hit the polls in a few days on Super Tuesday. We are here tonight because we are determined that Donald Trump will be a one-term president. Former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg hit the stump in Nashville. Tennessee is also one of the 14 Super Tuesday states where a third of the pledged delegates are up for grabs. So much depends on my party nominating a candidate who can defeat this president. We have got to get this right. Former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg was also out on the campaign trail Saturday. He'll be on ballots on Tuesday for the first time. Michael George, CBS News. President Trump congratulated Vice, former Vice President Biden on Twitter last night, writing in part that Biden's victory should be the end of Bloomberg's, quote, joke of a campaign. The president has one less candidate to worry about. Businessman Tom Steyer turned in his best showing to date in yesterday's primary. He placed third with 11 percent of the votes, but it wasn't enough to convince him to continue with his campaign. But I said if I didn't see a path to winning, that I'd suspend my campaign. And honestly, I can't see a path where I can win the presidency. Minnesota's U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar is coming in six with just 3% of the vote. She's been using the weekend to rally support along the East Coast. She made stops yesterday in Tennessee, Virginia, Maine, and North Carolina. She spoke to supporters about her plans for change in Washington while local lawmakers made her case to voters in Edina. We spoke with one supporter who believes Senator Klobuchar can help bridge a party divide. She's progressive, but she knows how to get things done so she doesn't scare people. And I think she has the values that everybody has in this country. They're just, we're just kind of getting confused and pulled apart. And I, I think she can reach everybody on both sides. So I think she's our only hope right now, really. Senator Klobuchar is coming home today. She plans to be in St. Louis Park for a rally tonight. She is in Charlotte right now. And I'll be interviewing her by satellite later this morning. Look for that interview on our news at 10.30 a.m. this morning. The Star Tribune says it's backing the hometown candidate because, quote, she's earned it. And America needs a president who will, quote, turn down the temperature in Washington. Well, you have felt it.